Hey folks, it's Art Wolf. Welcome. We have an unboxing video for you today of something a little out of uh, my traditional area of expertise. This is a game called Tranquility Base, the exciting game of America's Race to the Moon. A uh, history and action games. The publisher is Worthington Publishing. It's for one to four players. Uh, it's by Van Overbay, apparently. And I don't know if history and action games is like a developer or if it, that's just a branding thing from Worthington. That's a good question. Um, so let's open her up and see what we get. This is in, uh, this is a 2018 release, actually. And it's in one of Worthington's square boxes. And in this case, it's got uh, like a matte finish to it that I personally like a lot. Uh, it's just pretty much two inches deep, this box. All right, and the box uh, feels quite sturdy. I've seen thicker boxes, but, uh, but it, feels, it feels nice uh, and it's relatively heavy. So let's see what we get components-wise. Uh, okay, so we have a booklet called The History Behind the Cards. All right. Now, I have read entire books on the United States Space Program. However, this is really pretty nice. This is like a whole summary of um, the manned missions through Apollo. Through Apollo 17. That's, that's pretty nice. Uh, with a bunch of little notes about things like Kennedy's speech at Rice University, for example. And... Looks like these are in reference to the cards in many cases. There's a glossary, which many people will probably find intimidating. It's, when we see the back of the box, what does the back of the box say about difficulty? Uh, this, d this does not have a rating on Worthington's 1 to 10 scale. Uh, so this looks like the rule book. This uh, history uh, behind the cards booklet is 14 pages. Uh, nicely illustrated with, you know... It's if there's anything, any kind of game that's easy to come up with good pictures of, um, it's the American Space Program because there's a ton of pictures, some of them very high quality, and they're all in a public domain. So the rule book, um, not profusely illustrated, uh, but there's illustrations. Feels like it's about 14 pages. I'm gonna guess. We'll, we'll find out in a second. There's a there's a solitaire mode, so that's cool. The book is 18 pages. Oh, that's cool too. Here's a timeline of the space age, credits, um, game concept, development and design, graphic design, research and writing by Van Overbay. Um, thanks to the NASA Media Resource Center, obviously. Copyright 2018 and 2006, History and Action Games and the Logo Tranquility Base are registered trademarks of Van Overbay. So apparently that's a development concern, is History and Action Games. Okay, so that's neat. Um, there's a dedication in the back, too, which is which is really cool. Um, to the crew of Apollo 1, um, to the Challenger and Columbia crews. And here's a picture from Taurus Littrow on Apollo 17. So that's pretty cool. I am on a bit of a space exploration game kick at the moment, as you might be able to tell. So we have two counter sheets on what feel like pretty traditional um, Worthington component stock. Maybe a little glossier, um, but nice thick brown core board. Uh, these should hold up extremely well. And we appear to have... Um, these tokens, which are fuel tokens, and then these tokens, which I take to be mission tokens. Uh, that could be total nonsense. Um, we have stickers. I don't know what these are. Uh, we have these, these things. Actually, these are probably the mission landers, actually. So the stickers probably go on these discs, these black wooden discs. Uh, we have two decks of cards, which we will look at in a minute. And we have uh, something that does inc is included with the game now, the Soviet Moon Expansion. So we'll look at that next, actually. Um, let's look at the board first. This board's pretty abstract, so <clears throat> that I couldn't tell you. It's a four-panel board of about the size of the box. I'm trying not to put the entire project on the floor. Um, and we have, of course... Um, 
They skipped Apollo 13. Apollo 13 at Fr the Fromoro Highlands is not on. I mean, Apollo 14 landed there because Apollo 13 almost blew up. But um, it's interesting that that's there because it, one, presumably one of the things that could happen is your mission could go awry. Um, I'm very curious to see how this plays. Uh, this looks very abstract, I, I will tell you that. And that's not necessarily in aligned with my own tastes. Uh, all right, so we have uh, two, well, probably one deck of cards in two packages here. So let's open one up. I'm so confused. There it is. Not in shrink wrap for this one, but the other one is. All right, so what do we got? The Saturn V. Looks like we got a bunch of Saturn Vs. Saturn 1B. Apollo spacecraft. So maybe you put these as some kind of deck building type of thing where you put a mission together um, from the cards and then you fly the mission, something like that. Very curious to see how this thing plays. Uh, it looks relatively simple and straightforward. Is there a playtime on the back of the box? 45 to 90 minutes. Okay. So let's see what we have in the rest of the rest of the decks here. Probably runs fairly similarly, actually. All right, so this one we have Gemini 4, Apollo 7, Apollo 17. There's wild cards. Ah, so this looks like some kind of suit-based or trick-taking game. That is intriguing. That's kind of what it looks like to me now at this point. That is not a style of game that I have a lot of familiar with, familiarity with. I mean, I played a lot of Euchre back in the day. First American Spacewalker, Ed White, Redstone Rockets, Titan II Rockets, President Kennedy's Challenge, uses two fuel. So very interesting to see how this plays. Uh, this looks uh, quite, I, I don't know that Euro-ish is, is the right terminology for people who play those kinds of games. Um, that's the terminology that I would use, whether it's accurate or not. So let's uh, let's throw some bands around these and take a look at the equally fascinating looking Soviet moon expansion. So it does say expansion, right? And not, uh, well, not something different. So what do we got in here? We have some new cards. All right, so what do we got? We have uh, a little token sheet. We have... So it does kind of look like, here's a manual too, it's a small manual, four pages of extra rules with history notes and stuff as well, and some additional cards. So the Soviet thing looks like it follows the historical Soviet space program, which is that they didn't get to the moon. So it doesn't look like you're competing with the Soviets to get to the moon. Uh, that is the N1 rocket right there. That, that was the Soviet moon rocket that I think never had a successful flight. Uh, here's a Soviet uh, lander thing here too. Um, component quality is pretty nice. Um, I should say, I guess, that I'm going to play this and, and see what I think of it and get back to you before I give you a judgment. Um, However, I'm going to say that based on what I see, although I, I like the component quality, I think it's nice, uh, this might be a little, a little light for me. Let's, uh, we've got a cardboard spacer here, which we are going to discard because um, I'm going to have a hard time fitting everything back in the box with it. Um, component quality is, is nice. Um, we're like I said, we're going to uh, definitely uh, give this a whirl or two and report back with uh, <coughs> how we think it is. So, Tranquility Base, the exciting game of America's Race to the Moon from Worthington Publishing from 2018 and designer Van Overbay. Um, looks looks pretty interesting. We'll give it a shot. Please stay tuned, and uh, <coughs> I'll have at least one follow up video on it at some point. Hopefully, in the next couple of weeks. Um, so thanks for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel and do check out the Patreon if you like. It is linked in the video description. Until next time, happy gaming. <laughs>